Yo, what's up, YouTube? So, I saw a Tavis Smiley interview of Will Smith one time, and Will Smith said he uh, kind of prescribes to a saying of Confucius that says, He who thinks he can and he who thinks he can't are both usually right. And I would say uh, that that usually does ring true. I have never seen negativity uh, serve me well, and I've never seen it serve other people well in terms of stinking thinking, in terms of the I can't attitude, in terms of the you can't attitude, in terms of the we can't, in terms of the oh no, uh, who's going to... Um, that's not possible, you can't do that, that's ill, etc. Uh, people who say those kind of things on a regular basis tend to be um, unbelieving, doubting, skeptical, complaining, grumbling, murmuring, negative people. And I would advise, if you are a rideshare driver and you're that person, uh, go ahead and quit. Just go ahead and go find something else to do. Because you're going to be sitting in your vehicle driving other people, other human beings, on a regular basis uh, where they want to go. Not necessarily where you want to go. And they're going to have their own personality. They're not going to have your personality. And they're going to have their own attitude and their own feelings and their own circumstances that they're dealing with, uh, not necessarily yours or those that are ideal to you. And so you're going to be dealing with human beings. So it's best for you to go find something else to do where you're not dealing with human beings. Because uh, in this world, that stinking thinking, that negativity, uh, it's bad for you. But it's also bad for other people. And I think in Rideshare, uh, there are so many people who are in this, ha who have a powerful, positive attitude, who do very well. Um, those people are the people who should be driving. Uber, Lyft, Juno, whatever company out there provides you know, the platform. Those are the people that should be driving because those people, when they interact with other people that get in their vehicle, that have their own attitudes, their own feelings, their own beliefs, their own lifestyle, their own situations, their own circumstances, uh, those people can handle it. And those people can handle it well. And those people can uh, understand that there's a difference between their passengers and themselves and that... Uh, they can treat their passengers well no matter what their passengers say or think or do. Um, those are the kind of people who should be rideshare drivers. Um, if you're a negative person, you probably shouldn't. I also want to advise, if you're that negative person, you probably shouldn't be working for any sort of customer service, any sort of hospitality industry, any sort of uh face to face kind of uh uh profession job etc where you have to deal with other human beings because um hurt people hurt people and happy people tend to make other people happy and healed people tend to heal other people and uh people who are hopeless tend to try to drag other people down and people who are hopeful tend to lift other people up so if you're that person that's hopeless and helpless and the world is against you and the government's against you and your family's against you and your friends are against you and uber's against you and lifts against you and people are against you and etc 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 i just want to advise go find something else to do because uh, this is probably not for you this is an opportunity to interact with people and so a lot of times when people are skeptical about uh, my videos, my earnings, my methodology, my strategy, uh, my ratings. As you can see, I have here uh, 
a thousand and twelve five star trips with Uber. 4.94 overall rating. Uh, when people are skeptical of those things, it's because they have a, a garbage mindset. They have a trash mindset. They have a, a toxic mindset. They have a poisonous mindset uh, that has corrupted them from the inside out and made their view of the world uh, a very depraved and negative one. And so... Um, those people shouldn't be answering the phone when I call customer service for any company. Those people shouldn't be serving uh, my table when I go to a restaurant. Those people shouldn't be driving me uh, when I need a Uber or a Lyft ride. Um, I don't know what they should be doing other than changing, improving, and throwing their negativity in the trash and replacing it with optimism and hope and joy and uh, an appreciation and gratitude for life and uh, an overcomer's mentality, a victorious mentality, a problem-solving mentality instead of a woe is me, uh, I just got problems mentality. Usually those people can describe problems real good, but really don't do anything to solve them and I think the best kind of drivers in this uh, rideshare game are problem solvers there are people who are confronted daily with problems both their their own problems and other people's problems and they tend to try to find a solution and fix things and repair things and um, even bring comfort and uh, and put a smile on somebody's face rather than commiserate in the gloom and doom of the world. So I just want to say one reason um, I get so much love from the rideshare community is because a lot of drivers out there, a lot of people out there are very optimistic and hopeful about their future and they see this opportunity for what it really is, uh, which is a great opportunity. That you, it can be whatever you make it. And then other people, the few, the negative, the haters, they are kind of where they are and they say what they say because um, they're just in a bad place in life. And they're not in a place where they can see a way out of that bad place. And I just want to say that if you are in a bad place in life, man, everybody has been. I don't know anybody, I've never met a human being that hasn't been in a bad place or had bad situation or circumstances to deal with or had problems or, you know, been hurt or betrayed or rejected or abandoned or neglected or abused in some way. Um, everybody goes through problems. It's how you react, how you respond, how you deal with those problems that sets you apart uh, from the doom and the gloom and the 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 waste of the world so uh life is beautiful enjoy life be blessed be a blessing to the people that you meet today that get in your vehicle um you know put a smile on somebody's face i'll give you one example from yesterday yesterday i picked up a gentleman early in the morning at a hotel downtown and he was talking about he really likes San Antonio, but he can't see himself living here because there's no jazz music scene. And I was like, what do you mean there's no jazz music scene? So on my radio station right here, I had 91.7 that you can see I still have it on. Which is jazz. KRTU, it's a jazz dedicated station. And he was like, yeah, but there's no live music here. I'm like, what are you talking about? They announced live jazz performing all over the city every night of the week. And he just was unaware. So I was like, go to krtu.org. Go to their website. Go to their events page. It's going to tell you all the places where all the jazz artists will be playing uh, throughout the week. And he went to it and he was like, oh, man, this is awesome. I was told by other drivers that there was no jazz in San Antonio. It's only country western and, and rock. 
he was told by other drivers that there's no jazz in San Antonio because other drivers that he encountered didn't know that there was a jazz scene in San Antonio. And I only found out because as a rideshare driver, I hate listening to the same songs over and 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 over on the radio. So one day I spent some time going through all the stations to learn what the radio stations are here in my city. And I found a jazz one. I started listening to it because my passengers like it. I like it. And they don't play the same rotation of songs over and over. They play different stuff all the time, every day. So it's awesome. So anyway, I introduce him to KRTU. And he comes to San Antonio at least once a month to visit for business. And he's like, man, this is awesome. I even travel with my uh, trombone and I practice and I want to go to jam sessions and this and that. Now with this, like, this changes my whole perspective on San Antonio. So he was very happy with it. I dropped him off at the place where he was going to do business. But I was just thinking when, when I let him out and moved on with my day, I'm like, man, that's awesome. Here is this guy in my city that thinks that his his passion, his love, the thing that he really likes doing, the thing that he enjoys listening to, that that we don't have it here in this city. And I'm able to show him that we do have it. And now his whole perspective on our city has changed because he found what he loves here. So who knows? You never know what kind of impact you're going to have on somebody's day. To me, that's a very small thing, but it's a cool thing. Because to him, and I didn't bring up jazz, it was his number one reason why he's like, mm, San Antonio is all right. It just don't have any jazz. And I'm like, yes, we do. So once I introduce him to it, you know, I'm sure throughout the rest of the day, he was feeling a lot better than when he thought there was no jazz here because that's something that he likes. All I'm saying is no matter what it is, whether it's a radio station or it's a, a restaurant or it's a hotel or it's a tourist attraction or it's a, a, a place to take your day out. You know, whatever it is, as a driver, you're a resource to the community and to the people that you drive. And you can turn their frown upside down simply because you have a great attitude and you're an enjoyable person to, to spend that time with in that ride. Negative people, they are not that way. For negative people, everything is, is just bad. And they could actually make somebody's day worse. The passenger might get in the vehicle with a smile on their face, leave with a frown on their face. And it's a bad experience. So all I'm saying is, be blessed. Be a blessing. Uh, that's why you're alive. And uh, don't believe liars. They come to steal your joy by telling you lies. And most of the time, those lies are based on lies they heard from someone else because they don't take any time to find out for themselves. So anyway, that's what I got for today. Negativity, go away, get out. You don't belong in this business. Positive, powerful, passionate people. That's who should be rideshare drivers. Y'all have a wonderful day. Peace.